Okay? On the count of three, I'm going to start. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I might just fuck around and change my rap name to Berkey Lee. You know what I'm saying? Listen, guys, I know I'm doing too much talking, but I had a conversation with a friend of mine the other day, right? And he was like, yo, Mark, do you ever worry that maybe eventually at the point right now, people might try to put you in a box as like a remix rapper? And I was like, you know what? Some people might think like that. And I've met people that think like that, and that's okay. But I know that when I come to Montana for the first fucking time ever, that you guys know my original shit just as much as you know my remixes, right? So, exactly. Said. That also doesn't mean I'm not gonna come here and do the remixes because you guys fucking love the remixes too. Thank you Shit that you don't have, nigga. Rent the car and then rent the chain and then drink some meat and just go. Yeah. 
Then I get to have the morning anxiety The drink more, till I got the morgue still high Let's go! That's the shit that I would drink when I was younger I'm fucking out fast will never listen to his mother It was a job trying to get me home for supper I was busy stealing shit to get a little drunker What? Phones, waters, whatever I would see at parties yeah. I'll be back in the never screaming out to the party What? Anytime soon, I'll drink away the pain till I haven't got a clue. Let me see your middle fingers in the sky right now. Listen, the reason why I want you to put your middle fingers in the sky is this, okay? Fuck that, keep them up, keep them up. The reason why I want your middle fingers in the sky is this, man. At one point in my life, I was your average 12 year old little chubby Canadian motherfucker, right? And one day I went to the washroom. Bathroom, whatever you want to call it. I looked in the mirror and I told myself, I said, you know what? I'm gonna be a fucking rapper for the rest of my life. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. And you know what? As soon as I left the washroom, I would have told everybody that shit. I said, you know what? I just had like an epiphany. I'm gonna be a fucking rapper, bro. Now listen, don't even believe that shit. They're like, okay, Cole, you go right ahead, buddy. And I just wanna say, here we are now selling our shows in Montana for the first fucking time ever. So, good one more apology to the parents for all the fuck bombs tonight. It is what it is, all right? But listen, before I do this next one, I want to talk to you guys about some serious shit for a second. Is that okay? Can I do that? That was like a 6.5 out of 10. I said, can I do that? All right, so check it out. This next song is one of the hardest songs for me to write. Um, I know that now that I have the opportunity to have the stage under my feet every night and these lights on me, then now I'm blessed because I have a platform. And I can take that platform to look each and every one of you guys in your eyes and talk to you guys about the shit that I think other people might be too fucking pussy to talk about, right? So, I want you to know yesterday was the first show of the tour. I did my set, and that's great, no, for sure, 100%, but I did my set. And it actually was one of the hardest sets that I had to do in my whole life because the night before I stayed up till 5 a.m. getting fucked up. You're gonna cheer for that. I knew it worked, so. Look at, look, at, look at how terrible the quality is the other way. And what even is that? Hey, famous rappers have broken phones too, okay? The best part is, is I can't even get all of you guys in it. There's so many of you motherfuckers in the world. Let's take a quick one. Montana, huh? I'm the real guard, close to the strap, shit to Billy Ray, sir. 